subreddit just no mill mill is standing for mother-in-law in case you don't know oh yeah Ooh, okay so the title is mother-in-law tried to breastfeed my baby she's 60. <laughs> I just had a sip. <laughs> I, I just oh. took a sip. <laughs> so are you really prepared for the unhinged story? Because Ooh. I got you unhinged stories. <laughs> Give it to me. Give okay. It to me. I was not prepared. Not gonna lie, I was not prepared. Well, she wrote update, I guess. This is an updated story, oh. which I didn't know. Well, See, okay. the thing is, I, I am also blind reacting with you, so... That's fine, I that's okay. I search for the story uh -huh. and try not to read them, and then I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so this is an update about a story that we don't know, but that's fine. It's okay. But okay, we're just gonna read it. We're just gonna read it. Update. Thank you for every uh, everyone for your comments. I have bought her a reborn baby from Walmart, and my husband told her that she's no longer allowed to see the baby until my baby is one year old. And even then, she'll not be allowed to feed him or, or even give him water until he's able to trust her. Wow. Okay. <coughs> That's the update? Uh, yeah, it is just a bit confusingly formatted because normally they start with uh, what is happening and then they write the update. This person started ah. with the update and now went into what happened as I see. <laughs> Giving you a little teaser here. Yeah, like it, it feels like already unhinged the person who writes it. It's like, why I, do you format it like that? <laughs> I hear I hear a doll, I'm just like What? <laughs> oh, but okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So okay, my mother in law has been trying to make my baby call her mama. She hates it if my baby tries to call her Teta. Teta is grandma in my language and really hates it. She insists on calling her mama. I try to brush it off, just every time I see her, I tell my baby, ooh, he's your teta. I'm so confused. Because, you Sorry, know. teta. Teta in Spanish is something completely <laughs> That's different. Why I'm, like, <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know what language this is, but... Uh, <laughs> bless, bless your heart, but um, for people who just, don't know, teta is a breast. Just one. <laughs> not, not both, just one. They're like, ah, oh, there's your teta. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But how is it? <laughs> is it full of just? <laughs> is it just teta? <laughs> There's no other way I can pronounce it. It's just tita. I don't know. Tita? No. I just, no. I, I cannot unsee it. <laughs> Hi, baby. Your teta is here. It's like saying, Hi, baby. And it goes, and it goes with the story. It goes. With Oh, she didn't try to breastfeed her. She is the breast. She is the breast. <laughs> oh yes, oh I'm God. like, what? <laughs> okay. Um, oh my God. Anyways, the other day I was exhausted and she came unannounced to my house. So I told her to watch my baby. He was asleep. <laughs> while I go take a shower. Mm -hmm. Anyways, my Velcro baby... What the heck is a Velcro baby? I'm so confused by the story. <laughs> a Velcro baby. Um, okay, if anyone knows, let us know. Please. Uh, anyway, my Velcro baby decides to wake up after I got into the shower and my beautiful mother-in-law takes out her breast and tries to put my baby for him to latch on her breast. She is not lactating in any way. She is not his mother. I didn't give her any consent to fictionally <laughs> breast my breastfeed my baby <laughs> she is 60 and if anything would come out of that nipple it would be dust <laughs> <laughs> this story is cracking me up <laughs> oh she went full of dust <laughs> that's all that's gonna even come in out. big letters dust <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is too much <laughs> I leave the shower and run to her and snatch my baby from her. She's now super upset and is insisting that I'm exaggerating and she herself is a mother to seven kids. You should stay with Teta. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just... <laughs> Oh, it is. Yeah, that is a lot. Okay, what is 
what is your comment? Like unhinged <laughs> gra- mother-in-law for sure. That is <laughs> unhinged grandma. <laughs> Sorry, she just full on pulled out the tit and was like, let me just give this kid some, so some something. I Why? That that um, I don't understand. So what I would assume, I, I don't know. What I'm assuming is that the grandma maybe has like some sort of like dementia or something. Because that okay, is not normal. Yeah. That is that is no, what no, I normal assume. Normal it is for sure not. No. I do you think it's dementia? Because I feel like it's just um she's very entitled. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The thing is I, like <laughs> rationally she must know. There's nothing coming out of that one breast. I'm sorry. Or maybe not, because I think there existed cases of women that never had a baby or uh-huh. it didn't latch and it actually did happen by just, uh-huh. you know, having the baby try to latch on. But it's just, let's say, let's say she did truly think it would work. Yeah. It would still not be okay because no. this is not your baby. That is not your baby. Uh-uh. This is not okay. That is not, so not okay. Sorry, like breastfeeding is such something so intimate for the mom yeah. and the child yeah and if you're it, it's just like imagine you're just hanging out with a friend and i don't know and she and then, then you're like oh yeah let me just breastfeed your fucking child what it's just what? no what it's what not even thoughts? Honestly, like it, i don't it, understand it's not even okay even if it wouldn't even be breastfeeding imagine going to your friend and you know just just even i, I don't know do anything to the baby that mother doesn't want to just take the baby and be like yeah just took it with me you know it's like yeah yeah why that it's nothing yeah it's just no you ask for the consent of the parents you don't just take the baby you don't do anything with the baby if not i mean mean, totally totally like i also i also feel like it's always so difficult when when people just want to like take the baby and like hold it without asking i'm like that but i guess that's that's the thing. I, I saw it with, uh, you know, my mom that I have two siblings again. So when mm-hmm. my little sister was a baby, which mm-hmm. she's four now, four years ago, it just, well, it didn't stress her out that much, but it would stress me out because we were at just, you know, a event with m- several people. Mm-hmm. And it was literally like one people took the baby, gave it to the next one. This one cu- was cuddling it, gave it to the next one. So the baby was like passed around in the whole damn room. <laughs> and I'm I like, imagine the child being like... <laughs> <laughs> G- given in a circle like a like a blunt you know yeah, kind <laughs> of. okay next one <laughs> it, it felt take like it, that it's like okay i have my cuddles now you take it like what so i had enough okay next yeah it, it literally no it's so weird that and you know so it, it, for me it would just even stress me out because you know bacteria could be kind of dangerous for a child and things mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. but yeah and, and even this here it's just so overstepping like this is crazy and, and and then pairing with the fact that she wants the baby to call her mama girl, like heck girl no. your time your time is over i mean I'm sorry to tell you but she had over. as it sounds like she had already six kids so g- woman you should be done you're, you're, you're done <laughs> you're you enough. done <laughs> sorry but a limit is a limit it, you're unhinged <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. but um the I breast grandma <laughs> la teta, la teta. <laughs> but um going back to the update oh yeah i, I got the thing why i'm kind of want to stand on the dementia thing i like i don't want to be offensive or anything like mm. it's not my intention but why i'm thinking that is they gave her like a doll to do this yeah. sort of thing to replace the child Mm-hmm. And from what I know, like my knowledge from like with people with dementia is like they love children and they yeah. and they would do this like naturally that they, they would they would want to nurse the child. Mm-hmm. So you would give grandmas in like yeah. um, old folks home, you will give them some dolls and then then they will do their those things. Oh, OK, which really? is why I think this is what's happening, because I don't um, think a normal okay. thinking person just does that like. I, can't, I didn't like, realize I that. Yeah. Fathom. I like, kind of hope in that case. It's I hope. This. I hope. It. <laughs> I really hope. I'm Just really for, as a, a context, by the way, our lovely friend here has some background in you yeah, know, nursing <laughs> degree happening right now. Yeah, so she she does know some things. I had no clue about this, but it sounds reasonable in this case, and yes. I really hope it's this. 
But then again, I do think it's good that they set the boundary that she still is not allowed to see the baby until it is one year old and she's trusted again. Because in the end, even if it's that, it's I still need to protect the child in mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. instance. Yeah, yeah. No, I do. I agree. I like that they had like the hard boundaries and it yeah. was, uh, also was her son that said no. Yeah. Because I know it can be hard sometimes to have like hard boundaries with your parents, but mm -hmm. he was like, eh, eh. Yeah. Eh, eh, and I plot that. I the only thing great. that actually makes me, well, where I'm not sure if it really is dementia, um, is, or it's just because that she insists so much on the baby calling her mom and telling her I, I am the mom. And That's you know, fair, it yeah. doesn't feel like, it's it's not in a way where she's like, no, where she just keeps repeating on, no, this is my child, this is, I'm your mama. It, it feels so directed at the other woman, like, no, I am the mother, mm. not you, which mm. feels so competitive in a way, mm -hmm. the way she does it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's the only one where I'm like, oh, I feel yeah. like she's just, um, toxic <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> weirdly <But> toxic <laughs> let's see what the comments say yes. so top comment was modern law trying to breastfeed your baby is disgusting <laughs> she earned a six month timeout. out uh, actually more than that <laughs> honey lifetime <laughs> <Yeah. But> <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ uh someone else um wrote that is disgusting i wouldn't allow her near the baby and honestly would order her a reborn baby to her doorstep for extra snark because what the fuck that was probably because the update but before the update but <laughs> yeah 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 but i think we can move on honestly i think there's nothing more to say this is unhinged, was and, yeah. unhinged. there's no way to accept that that was <laughs> just <laughs> and the comments agree it's just why <laughs> damn 